The Gili Islands are a group of three tiny Indonesian islands off the coast of Lombok, famous for their white sand beaches, vibrant coral reefs, rich marine life, and world-class diving. <laughs> Over the next five days, I will be exploring Gili Trawangan, Gili Air, and Gili Mino for the very first time with my childhood best friend Liana, and we're taking you along for the ride. All right, this has been a very chaotic morning, but we're getting on the boat. <laughs> Gilly T, here we come. Thank you. Yeah. Window, go pull there. Can you the window because you're nauseous? Yes, please. <laughs> um, so I have Bali belly at the moment. <laughs> it's perfect timing. At least I don't. How are you feeling? Not great. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters, right? No, it's just better if it's one half rather than... Whole. This is true. This is true. We have one functioning person. We've been in the car since 6 30 a.m. Hour and a half drive to Padang Bai. It's also been pouring torrentially raining, so I thought we we're gonna get soaked, but turns out we have a shelter. Okay, we are officially here. Gilly tea. First impressions, it is very chaotic and crowded. It also smells like horse poop. Yeah, there's horses, I guess, that do transport, but they don't look very happy. So I'm happy we are walking distance from our hostel, but I'll definitely keep you posted on the vibe of Gilly tea. Obviously it has a reputation for being the party island, the crazy island, but we're gonna make our own assumptions. And I forgot to mention, it's blue skies and sunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got so lucky. We left Bali and it was really overcast and like sparsely raining and raining a lot throughout But it's perfectly like blue skies here. I'm very excited. Hopefully it stays that way Okay, so we've just checked in our room is still getting clean We are staying at compass divers hostel it has amazing reviews and obviously it's all about scuba diving and going snorkeling and stuff like that there's pool right in the middle we're probably somewhere up here and then there's tons of equipment on site hey did you find the spot oh yeah she's so small okay false alarm and they just told us it's ready oh no they just told us our dorm is ready we're in a three-person mixed dorm so we'll see who our one roommate is you excited there was a cat that rode on my dog i know <laughs> That was so cute. Perfect. The AC is so nice. Is really nice, I can show you. Oh, sure. Okay, we're going to check out the rooftop. Ooh. That's the tower. If there's something happened like a massive earthquake, all people just escape to go to the house. Okay. Because we worry that tsunami can, so the water come from there. Hopefully there's no tsunamis <laughs> while we're here. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, so the beds, they look great. We've got a nice curtain, which I always look for. We have our place to store our stuff. So, oh, there's an outlet in there also. And then over here, We've got a little light switch. Is there anything under here? I think this is just a little bedside table. And yeah, there's three. So we will meet our roommate someday. It looks like a, a boy. It's always a boy in a big storm. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> Yay, so far so good. We're here. We made it. But we haven't had any coffee yet and it's noon and that is illegal. We recommended this place, Caillou Cafe. Okay, I have a bit of an update. I don't even know where to start. Oh my god, I just had the most insane experience that I need to tell you guys about. It has a <laughs> For context, I am not a person that can function off of a few hours of sleep. Like, I need adequate sleep or my brain doesn't really work well. It's about 3 p.m. right now. We're about to go head to the beach and sunset. I was packing my bag and I was looking for my GoPro, obviously. And so for my GoPro, it's what I vlog on when I'm out in public. I have a little tripod and the media mod. Um, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked in every single bag, like five times, under the bed, in all the crevices. I asked my hostel had they seen it. I could not find this GoPro anywhere. And I knew I never used it yesterday when I went to the beach because I like passed out on the beach. I was so tired. The last time I used it was at Caillou Cafe where we got breakfast. That's the last place I used it. And I was like, there's no way 
I left it like there's no way but that was the last place I used it so at this point I'm basically shaking um, I have footage that I have filmed on the GoPro and obviously it's just it's an investment this is my job and so I was like there is no way it's at the cafe but I had nowhere else to look so I went to the cafe and I freaking have it I find you GoPro <laughs> upstairs it's been over 24 hours since I've been there. I guess I left it on the chair while we were eating and I left and I just never used it until right now when I need it. So I didn't notice it was gone. <laughs> but they basically have it locked up in their office. The office people are on break right now so I'm about to go back. Hopefully they're there and they can get it, give it to me. I have to verify that it's mine. I'll show them the footage of me on it. <sighs> oh my god. It's just further validation of number one just how trustworthy and kind the locals are here in indonesia that i've come across and just that there are still good people in this world because i'm sure a guest maybe saw it they could have taken it um yeah i i'm, I'm in like absolute shock that they have it so i'm about to go back and get it so i just wanted to tell you guys that shout out to caillou cafe the people there are amazing and i'm so freaking grateful they saved it oh my god Hi, I'm here. <gasps> oh my god! I can show you that I'm on there. All right. There, there's the picture. Yes, you are the man. <laughs> Thank you so much. We got it. That was absurd. I need a hug. Crisis averted. Mm. I've never had before. I was asleep again. My brain doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your patience. Let's go. Oh my Let's god. Go of course we found Crosby's GoPro. Life is good. Life I got is a, great. I got a selfie with him. He was so funny. I dude, it was hilarious yeah. because I walked in there after I went to the ATM. Yeah. And I was like, is the door unlocked upstairs? And he goes, you need your friend. Get your friend. He and took like, it very seriously. He was like, we're not giving it to a stranger. Wow, I am so happy right now. All right, let's go to the beach now. Okay, so we rented bikes from our hostel. It's 50K for 24 hours, which is great. So we're gonna go bike around the island. We biked around it last night, which I'll update you guys on, but now we're gonna go see it in the daylight. I'm excited! Woo! So there are so many cute stores here. So it's fun to bike around and we just kind of stop in wherever looks cute. Yesterday I bought some incense and oh, these really cute like beaded lighters. How cool are these? I've been looking for a sarong. I kind of love this. It's like a little big, but it's cute. I love the colors. Thank you. Thank you. Apparently, to bike around the entire island, it's so small, it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes if you don't stop. Me and Liana biked about half of it last night at what, two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> so it's a little different in the daytime. Really pretty. Whoa. So we're at Pula Beach Club. That's my coconut. This is on the north end of the island. It's a lot quieter over here, but there's still like a good amount of places to get drinks and eat food and stuff like that. So we're just gonna chill here till sunset. And it's super nice. So our initial plan when we got here was to have kind of a chill night last night and then, you know, do the whole going out thing tonight. But then we realized that there was a full moon party last night. Deep house, tech house, and techno, are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> Which we couldn't pass up on, so we ended up having quite quite the night. Late night, early morning. We had a lovely time. I don't really party that much or stay up super late, so definitely experience that you have to have coming to Gilly Tea. It's definitely the biggest party island. We just hopped around to some of the different beach clubs. There are so many. They're all totally different vibes. So one of them, what was like the first place? Like music? That was Tequila Sunrise and it was a lot of um, bunkhouse was the type of music that they had. And then after that, we went to Sama Sama, which has a special place in our heart now. They're playing the best live music. This band is so good. So we just danced and danced for so long. And it wasn't a lot of us, but we like totally just brought the house down with our dancing.
And then we just went on a little bike ride around the island at 2 a.m. Found this little beach spot, hung out, and ended up going to sleep around like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, we've had a very chill day because of that, but we are going to go back to Sama Sama tonight for our, la our last night in Gilly Tea. Hopefully we won't stay out till 4 a.m. because I don't think my body can handle that. <laughs> Our final morning in Gilly Tea. We are walking to the harbor to get on our boat to Gilly Air. We just bought our tickets like 30 minutes ago for the two o'clock fast boat for about 85 a person. It's super easy to get them. You just go like an hour before and then you need to get there about 10 minutes before to board. So that's what we're doing. It's definitely been really fun here, but I'm, I'm ready for a bit more of a chill time. And we're going snorkeling tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. Oh my goodness. We should have taken Dram me for this. It should be really quick though. I don't think there's a lot of people on here so we can both get a window seat. How are you feeling? Not great. I'm sorry. Liana has Bali belly, unfortunately. I actually don't know how long it was. I think maybe like 20, 25 minutes. It's very windy. So we're gonna walk, I think about 10 minutes to our Airbnb. All right, we have arrived at Ing's Garden. We're being led to our room with some wonderful coconuts as our welcome drink, which is much needed. <laughs> Yeah. This is Leah. Leah, yes. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, the air conditioning. Oh, it's beautiful in here. And the bathroom. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's it's open air. Oh my god, this is stunning. <gasps> look at this. Liana, take a look. You're kidding. I know. It's so like open. We have the palm trees. I love this it. This is great. Yay! Okay, so I'm about to go do a little bike ride around the island. Unfortunately, Liana is not feeling good at all, so she's taking a snooze. But before I go, I want to show you around where we're staying. It's so freaking cute. This is kind of the dining kitchen area, so there's breakfast included every morning. It's also the only area where there's Wi-Fi. There's like a little bit of Wi-Fi in the room. But the Wi-Fi here is actually pretty decent, which is nice. Over here we have these little cabanas that look super nice and cozy. A nice place to hang out in the morning and have some coffee. I'll probably be doing that. Walk down this walkway here. Got a hammock and a swing. And then three of these A-frame little cabins. I don't see any other ones. I don't know if we're the only ones, but it's super chill and quiet compared to Gilly Tea. That's my first impression of Gilly Air. And honestly, after two nights there of partying, being out till 2, 3, 4 a.m., it's a nice break. And as I'm saying that, I feel some raindrops, which is a little bit unfortunate because I want to go for a bike ride. But yeah, anyways, this is our room here. Um, apparently, we have a little hammock provided. They have theirs hung up here, so I will have to hang that up. But I actually think it's raining right now. Are you serious? It hasn't rained until now, but it definitely looks like it. Got a little dark clouds here. I'm determined to have one night of a good sunset. I'm actually super hungry, so I'm thinking of going right across the street, or the alley, I should say, to this place called Coconut, I don't know, Coco something. I've heard the food is super good. I was recommended to go there to eat and to stay, but I'm happy it's right across the way. So let me run over there with my things and hopefully get under some rain cover before it starts to pour. So these are our two bikes that we're renting for 50K a day. They're so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna move them over there real quick. <laughs> So I got the Mexi bowl. Looks so good. Has some rice, corn, salsa, guac, cabbage, chips. And they also gave me this for free. It's like a ginger turmeric thing, I think. So, gonna dig in.
Okay, so I think we're in the clear with the rain. So I'm gonna take my chances and go on a little bike ride, see if there's any sort of sunset. Well, I easily could have walked here. I didn't realize the sunset spot is like basically you just walk straight down the alleyway that we're on and then you arrive here on the west side. It's very low tide. I've noticed that here. The tide goes in and out really, really far. I guess it's an island, makes sense. I actually think that the landscape here and the beaches are a lot more beautiful than Gili T. You can see all of the mountains of Lombok here. This is the island that's closest to Lombok. Yeah, and the beaches are a bit bigger as well. In Gili T, they're quite tiny. So far, so good, and I'm loving our location, but I think I might just do a little beach walk and enjoy the gorgeous sunset. It looks like it's gonna be great. So I'm really excited. Good morning, everyone. We are heading out on our snorkel adventure. It's four hours. We're gonna go to all the amazing snorkel spots, including Gilly Mino, and it's just me and Liana, so it should be super fun. Hello. Hello. What was your name again? Amusle. Amusle. Yes. Cool. You? Crosby. Crosby. Liana. Leona. She's feeling better today. I'm feeling so much better. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to get Molly Belly at least once while you're here. It's part of the experience. Yeah, I was uh, telling my mom it was bound to happen and I'm just happy it didn't hit I'm on my way out to my flight on Saturday. So, so we're, we're counting our blessings is what she's saying. <laughs> Morning, guys. Yeah, we've got a videographer yeah. with us. Morning. <laughs> ready to rock? Always ready to rock, brother man. It's such a beautiful morning, guys. What's the first stop? Turtles. Turtles! I like turtles. I like turtles. I like turtles. at Turtle Point on Gilly Tea. They like to eat the little like seagrass. It was cute. They didn't care at all that we were right above them. They were just doing their thing. Okay, so behind me we have Gilly Mino. And if you've seen the iconic photos of the underwater statues, that is right where we are. But I'm gonna show you a little Instagram versus reality because there are lots of people here. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Okay, we are having a little break on Gili Mino. This is by far the calmest island of the three. We're gonna get some food and hydrate. So this is the Menno Beach Resort, much more remote than Gili T or Gili Air. So if you're trying to just have a super chill beach getaway, Gili Mino might be your best bet. Okay, there are a few small restaurants and hotels. And I'm fairly shocked to see that there's an ATM, which I have 4,000 Indonesian rupiah to my name right now, so this is needed. <laughs> So apparently that's the only ATM on Gili Mino, and there are a few on Gili Air and Gili T, but all the ATMs were out of cash on Gili Air. So definitely bring enough just in case that happens, especially if you're coming on the weekend. Oh my goodness, they're so small. I just wanna take all of them home. I know. <laughs> we have to dig in like 50 centimeter deep put the eggs on so when the babies comes up just took the babies and put down there and we're feeding them with a small fish 
took away the bone, so it's only meat, not so hard for them to eat the meat only. So the reason they have all of the eggs here and then the baby turtles in that little sanctuary is because when the babies hatch and they go into the water, in the wild there's an extremely low survival rate. So they keep them in there until their shells are hard enough and they're strong enough to go out into the wild just to help, you know, conserve them because there's obviously not as many as we would like in the wild, but I can't get over this water. Look how cool it is. I think Gilly Mino is really, really cute. I'm glad that we're staying on Gilly Air. There's a lot more to do, but this is a great place to come for the day. Or like I said, if you just kind of want a nice little beach escape, there still are places to hang out and eat some food and chill by the water and go snorkeling, of course. The underwater statues are right off of Gilly Mino. So if you stay here, you can just swim right off the shore and go to them. So you can actually get a good spot if you come here really early in the morning and go to the underwater statues. All right, this was a lovely time on Gilly Mino. We're heading on the boat to one more snorkel spot. And it was great. I've never seen so many turtles in my whole life. I can die a happy person now. I love that. Yeah, uh, Gilly Mino for sure has the best snorkeling out of all the three islands. And we had it all to ourselves. Not the statues, definitely not that, but the turtles and like the last place we were snorkeling just around the shore. It was wild. It was amazing. Oh. It's definitely my favorite place that I've snorkeled so far. Out of yeah. Komodo and Nusa Penida and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah for that. sure. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, this way. Perfect. All right, good morning. It's our last day in Gilly Air. We're leaving in just a few hours, so we just packed up all of our stuff and checked out, and we're now going to finally do our bike around. Last night, we were really tired, so we just had a lovely, chill sunset dinner, drinks time, which was great. And now we're gonna bike around, get some breakfast, and actually see the island, so. Yay! Excited! It's so cute. I love it. There's lots of stuff inland here on this island too. That's where we're going. Okay, so this seems kind of like the main little road. There's lots of shops and restaurants on this street. It's so cute. We're going like right over there. This is it. gosh thank you this is such a spread right now we got like savory and then sweet look how pretty this is okay i got this granola bowl with greek yogurt and honey and this chia pudding and then a fruit bowl i'm gonna mix it i got sauteed mushrooms and then charred tomatoes and then smoked salmon with um cream cheese and then food a Yum. pan fried halloumi with honey on it and then sourdough and then they're getting the strawberry jam i also ordered mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a great final breakfast here, and we obviously got our oat milk coffees because that is essential. Cheers. And it's Leona's last day in Bali or Indonesia, I guess. I know, she leaves tomorrow, so we're celebrating with a delicious meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gilear has no shortage of amazing cafes. Thank you so much. Yay, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so the abrupt ending to this video is warranted because we had quite an abrupt exit to the Gilly Islands, or out of the Gilly Islands, I should say. Um, <laughs> I am actually going to sit down and film a full video about the experience we just had so you guys can avoid it, but basically due to weather in Bali and in the islands surrounding it obviously our two o'clock fast boat to Bali got canceled and we had no idea if I hadn't gone to the ticket office at 11 35 and just checked to see kind of like okay I'm just want to check in see how things are going I would have not known this we would have gotten stuck on the island and Liana would have missed her international flight and basically we had to get on the 12 p.m. so I went there at 11 35 a.m. we had to get the 12 p.m. PM boat 
out of Gilier. It was the last boat leaving because of the weather to Lombok, not even Bali, just to Lombok. From there, the ferry got canceled. So I am currently stuck in a hotel by myself, about three minutes from the Lombok airport. I came here with Liana yesterday because we found her the last seat on a flight out of Lombok to Singapore so she could make the second leg of her international flight. Yeah, so I'm here until I'm hoping to leave tomorrow on the ferry or the fast boat, depending on what is happening. But yeah, I'm basically just like here <laughs> and it's there's nothing around me at all. So I've just been working a lot. Overall, Gilly Islands was such a great experience, but there are definitely some things you need to know ahead of time so you can avoid the travel nightmare that we just went through. So um, definitely subscribe and like this video so you can stay tuned for the next one. If you are planning to go to the Gilly Islands, you need to watch the next video. So I'll see you in that one. <laughs> Bye.